Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be my top Oracle decks I cannot live without 2019, um, the 2019 edition. <laughs> I was surprised because I was going through my collection and I was pulling the tarot decks that I can't live without and then I was pulling the Oracle decks and I had significantly more Oracle decks than tarot. It was very surprising because I love tarot, I read with tarot, but I think the reason why I can't live without more Oracle decks is because the Oracle decks are so different. Like you, ha you have a whole plethora of different types of decks versus the tarot. It's like the same system. It's like the same cards. It's just the artwork. And so um, I think maybe that's why my Oracle collection is a little bit more heftier than my tarot. I don't know, but <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the ones that I chose. Um, it'll probably change in another year because like I said, my, my collection's always growing and, and when whatnot, my change, my likes, my interests change. Um, but for this year so far, here's the ones that I'm really enjoying. So first off, let's start with the mermaids. Um, I freaking love this deck bag too, by the way. <laughs> it's, I, they don't even sell it anymore on, um, Baba Studios website, so I was so happy to snag this. Um, so the first deck is my Oracle of Mermaids. I love this deck. Um, I remember I bought it. I went through and did a deck mod to it, so I, I cut off all of the borders because I believe it had white borders, um, and it just made the images pop. The cards were still really large. Um, I have a deep appreciation and love for mermaids. I grew up wishing I was a mermaid. Um, I was one of those little girls that loved them. I always checked out the books at the library about the mermaids. And so when I found this deck, the images of the mermaids were so real looking. That's what drew me to it. So there's a lot of like, there's tarot decks um, out there that have mermaids, but they're more cartoon looking. These are like more realistic looking and that's what drew me to this deck. It's beautiful. Um, it's intuitive. and But I think it's just, it just draws me in because the images are so gorgeous. The color scheme is beautiful. So Oracle of Mermaids. I cannot live without this one. This is one of my faves. I don't read with it nearly as much as I would you would think I would, but <laughs> this is definitely one of those precious ones to me. I have I don't think I've found another mermaid deck that has just wowed me as much as that one has. Um next is my Oracle of Oddities. So I keep it in this cute little Dia de los Muertos bag. Um I have all three editions of the Oracle of Oddities. And I am proud. <laughs> I am proud. I have all three editions. I love this deck. It, it, it just sings to my heart. When I read, it's super intuitive. I love the morbid um, imagery with the beautiful flowers. It's like you get death and life at the same time. Um, it's not a deck I read for with everybody because of the images. I feel like some people wouldn't be comfortable with it. So um, I'm really choosy with who I read with it for. If anything, it's a lot of personal readings for myself. But um, I absolutely love this deck. I mixed all three editions together as one giant deck. Um, but because of, you know, me needing to know, <laughs> I will mar I marked each one with a one, two, or three, depending on what version, what edition it came out of. So I can, you know, remember. But I have a love for skeletons and like anything morbid. I love that stuff. As you could tell, like I did another video about my top tarot and Bohemian Gothic tarot was one of them. I just love the spookiness of it. Um, but when you match something like this with flowers, it just, I don't know. I love it. It sings to me. <laughs> so that's the Oracle of Oddities. It's well loved. I have shuffled it so many times. Um, next we have the Earth Magic Oracle. So I obtained this deck a couple months ago and I was so impressed. Um, this was one of those decks that was on my wish list forever and I never bought it because I was just like, eh, it's probably gonna be one of those decks where it's like, nah, it's not that great. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> 
Um, so I picked this one up at one of the local crystal shops um, in town where near where I work. And um, so I paid full, full full price for it. You could find it probably half the price on eBay. But hey, what's, you know, there's nothing wrong with supporting small businesses, right? So when I opened the deck, I was just so floored by how much I resonated with each like each one that I would pull for myself. I always read for myself before I read for anyone else with a deck. Um, and I use this one almost daily for my client readings. Um, it just speaks loudly. It really comes out really well with the energy readings. Um, and I just find it to be super intuitive. <coughs> it's one of those decks where I'm like, where has it been all my life? Why didn't I purchase it earlier? <laughs> so it's one of those where I'm like, oh my God, I could have been super in love with this had I opened it up a lot sooner, like had I went out and bought it sooner. But you know, I feel like we, decks come into our life when we need them at that time. So I didn't need it earlier, but now I do. So that is one of them. And it's just like a simple, real simple deck. It's super cheap. You can find it online right now. It's a good one it's a good one you guys um okay so another one that i can't live without is my or um, oracle of the radiant sun this is the first edition there was a second edition as you can see right there that orange box <laughs> the second edition recently came out um back in march and the first edition is completely out of print um i obtained the first edition copy before the second edition came out but um of course i picked up a second edition because why not so um this one was special to me i remember leela hell she actually used this deck to read for me for my birthday one time and i remember when i saw the images of the cards i was like oh, i have to have this deck it is so pretty <laughs> you don't see <clears throat> artwork like that on decks and it's a it's it's astrology related which is the other reason why I wanted it so bad because I love astrology so look at how gorgeous it's so detailed there's so many symbols um so I purchased this one off of an Etsy shop was it Etsy or eBay I don't remember I think she had an Etsy shop as well um it was a little bit pricey, but I still feel like I got a good deal out of it based on like other ones that I've seen for sale. <laughs> but it was one of those where I was like, I want the first edition. Like I want it. Um, so yeah, that is the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. Next is the Native Spirit Oracle. This one, I really... I really, really, really don't read much with this deck for other people. This is probably my own personal, like I wanna sit and journal about my the cards that I pull for myself kind of a deck, okay? I This, this guidebook is so well loved, I constantly use it. Um, it's one of those decks where you need the guidebook to, <laughs> to read with. Um, I mean, you don't have to, but you know, it's good. Um, it's Native American inspired and it speaks loudly to me <laughs> loudly um one of the reasons why i love this deck so much is because the guidebook gives you like activities to do for each of the cards so it's kind of like you get a little bit of a homework assignment and when i do use this deck for for client readings it's only for specific types of readings or specific clients with certain energies um, every once in a while, I will feel called to pull um, for a client with this deck because I feel like they need it. Um, this is one of those decks that I like to pull specifically for like your soul readings or like your spirits, your spiritual journey type readings or like a spiritual therapy session kind of a reading. This isn't a deck I would pull for like love readings or anything like that. No, this is like going deep within self. <laughs> and so, and then I love to give them a homework assignment based on what the guidebook says. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful deck and I love it. I love it so much. So that's another one I can't live without. <laughs> Um, the Victorian flower oracle, <laughs> this one I was hunting for forever, you guys. 
I was searching eBay and I was like, oh, that's too expensive. Oh, that's too expensive. It was always popping up at like $200, $400 if it was with the box and the guidebook and stuff. That was too much money. And then I remember I was looking through Amazon and the deck was on there. <laughs> Somebody was selling this deck on Amazon and they, they were selling it for $120, I believe. Um, and it was listed as a haunted deck. And I actually filmed a video about this, about my haunted deck. Um, and so I asked the person, you know how you can message them? I asked them, is it really haunted? And they were like, yes, it is. And I was like, I'm taking it. <laughs> so I was like, sold, I'll take it. Um, so I purchased it off of them. It arrived really quickly. And I love the I love the fact that it's like you have flower these like these like flower people. <laughs> um, it's so pretty, it's so gentle, but this deck has a bite to it. This deck has a bite. Um, it's very truthful. It will tell you exactly what it's what's on its mind. It doesn't beat around the bush. It is a very it's a very prickly kind of a deck, like like a flower has like the rose has a thorn, like that. Um, it will tell it like it is. So <laughs> I'm really careful with which types of readings I bring this one out for because of that reason. Um, but if you are curious to hear about the story of the haunted deck, because I had a little bit of an experience with it, um, I have the video in my playlist somewhere. I think it's my talk tarot with me playlist. So check it out. <laughs> This one's out of print, but I'm so happy I have a copy. I'm happy that it was a haunted copy. It's my baby and it's here to stay forever. And last but not least, you guys probably know exactly what this one is. <laughs> the Psychic Tarot, which is to me an Oracle deck. It's not a tarot deck. Um, the Psychic Tarot. This is like as old as my tarot journey. <laughs> this was one of the first Oracle decks I ever bought. Um, it's a well-loved deck as you could tell the cards are very much well-loved um, I read with this all the time for clients this is one of the the decks oh, I think it's like all the chakra cards yeah I was just doing a chakra reading for a client um, this is one of those decks that I will pull out for um, a client reading it I don't need to use the guidebook it just it speaks to me. I love to do the energy readings with this one. I can do love readings with this one. I can do any kind of reading with this deck. I think that's why I like it so much because I can answer pretty much any question with it. <laughs> um, and I just love it. I also did a little bit of a deck mod to it. So I did put some like colors of um, some nail polish to shine it up a little bit. I don't know, I get bored and then I just do shit like that. <laughs> So some of my cards have like glitter and stuff on it. Um, I thought about purchasing a second copy of this one because it's still for sale. But I've seen the second edition. Um, not the second edition, but I've seen like the newer editions are a little bit different in the cardstock. This one used to be gold edges. <laughs> you can't even tell. Like look at it. It is so well loved. It doesn't have, it's like so dull and like coming off. But this used to all be gold. <laughs> So this is my baby. I freaking love my psychic tarot. Um, this will probably always be a favorite. This would probably be one of the first ones that I grab when, if there was, God forbid, a fire in the house. Um, but yeah, I will always treasure this one. This is like my Oracle deck, <laughs> but yeah. So you guys, that concludes my top Oracle decks that I can't live without for 2019. Will it be different next year? Probably. Um, so I'll have to make a note to do another video next year and we'll see like what, where my interests are and what, what is, what is, what am I dabbling with? Right. Um, but yeah, leave comments below. Tell me what are your favorite Oracle decks? Do you like any of the ones that I posted or, um, that I mentioned? And let's talk, let's talk Oracle. Let's talk cars, you guys. All right. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.